special Northwest Showcase. Hello, it's Andy West on 93.9 KPDQ. Dr. David Day is here from Day Chiropractic. The Day Brothers are in studio, and we have uh, another band here bringing you some, some great uh, Southern Gospel music, just uh, music with a message this afternoon from uh, Dr. Day and uh, the gentleman in studio with us right now. And Dr. Day will uh, share with us right now. There's a couple of concerts coming up. One yeah. would be when? So tonight... You, tonight at 7 o'clock at uh, Clackamas Bible Church, and that's going to be something you won't want to miss, and it's going to be mostly gospel, and we're going to be performing as the Day Brothers, and Powell, uh, Farley Powell and, and Dave will also be performing there tonight, so it's going to be really exciting tonight. Yeah. Uh, we also have a, and the other thing, if you're concerned about the weather, uh, it will be air conditioned in the church, so that's really, that's really uh, maybe a consideration, although <laughs> I'm thrilled with the weather reports for tomorrow. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like going to be Upper good. 70s uh, or yeah. something? Yeah. And, and quite frankly, our clinic where where this is we've got some pine trees obviously and uh, so it's going to be it's shaded it'll be lovely and uh, it's really exciting so the first song there that we want to do right now is a song by the day brothers and it is exciting this is one of the songs that i actually wrote so it's it's kind of and it's actually the title track for our cd entitled what were you thinking question mark and so daniel and john and i as we were growing up um our mom and dad were pretty committed to raising kids that uh the love of the Lord and who were living healthy lives and all that sort of stuff. And so that commitment came in a, a variety of ways. Uh, Mom would actually uh, grind flour that she would use then to bake whole wheat bread for us. Uh, we would buy milk uh, from a farmer who had a Guernsey cows. So there was all sorts of cream. We would, uh, we would have whole milk. We would have more whipped cream than you can imagine. So <laughs> strawberry, you know, strawberry shortcake would happen oh. in season. We'd go pick the strawberries, right? Yeah. And then we'd have strawberry shortcake with the whipped cream, and, and it was really amazing. But the funny thing is when I went to school, I was jealous about the uh, one of my classmates. Their dad worked for uh, Gates Bakery, and uh, so they would have all these hostess ho-hos and all these yeah. thing, things that I had never seen, but they looked so good to me. Sure. I looked at what was in my lunch, and... No one would trade for what I had, right? <laughs> so, uh, and, and, but this line, the line of this of this song is what I once despised. Now I realize all along I had it made. So it is kind of uh, interesting here as um, as time has now gone on, uh, our perspective on life is is a little, little bit different. So, all right, Reed, we're gonna kick this bad boy off and let's have fun. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> When there was a twinkle in my daddy's eyes, mom and dad looked in at the blinkin'. Before you know it, I was born. They no longer were born, but grandpa said, What were you thinking? Our food was organic. Yes. <laughs> 
is great. That is, you know what? It's so funny because I grew up uh, with a mom that did all of that stuff. Yeah. You know, she she would make the bread, she would make the applesauce. We had a cow, and yes. we did all of that. And I remember thinking to myself, just like you said, I remember thinking. If I could just have a ding dong. Yes. Yeah. But they wouldn't let us have it, you know. No, no, and it was like it was like whole wheat Roman yes. meal bread. Yes. And, and alfalfa sprout <laughs> sandwiches. And, and oh my gosh. But look how great we turned out. Yeah. 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 No. There you go. That's, That's what I'm talking, talking about. about. By the way, it's the uh, Northwest Showcase on 93.9 KPBQ Day Chiropractic. That's uh, Dr. David Day. He's in studio right now yeah. providing live music. Tonight we have a big concert. Yeah, it's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight, Clackamas Bible Church. And come come one, come all. We're going to have a great time. In fact, we're not even charging admission. But you should know, uh, you know we flew Daniel out here, and, and Reed's going back to college in Boston and stuff. So we need to kind of help some of these guys get So maybe like a free will yeah, offering. Yeah, so we'll pass, a, we'll pass an offering. That's great. And the other thing is if you want to buy the CDs, that helps support us as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. you know, which mm -hmm. is really exciting. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're selling, you can buy one for 15 or two for 25 or three for 35. And we did a show last night, and several people came up, and they wanted to get all three. So yeah. it's really kind of cool. You say, you know, this is, you'll have something that you can enjoy for months and years, and it helps us out, and we really appreciate that. So we, this is uh, a chiropractic clinic, though, and as my wife insisted, she said, David, don't do nothing but music, even though she knows we could, you know, we, we love playing together, all us guys, and uh, it's really fun. But it is something that I do need to talk briefly about chiropractic here, because uh, there, there's uh, a new guideline that has been uh, published about high, about high blood pressure, essentially, and one of the things I wanted to do, in case you saw that by U.S. News and World Report, uh, where they're talking about they're trying to get everybody's blood pressure substantially lowered, and... Really, I've, I've started to wonder if, if it might be uh, kind of a strategy trying to get more people taking medication. Because if you look at the guidelines, it's like half of the people then would be hypertensive or be hypertensive at least. And so uh, my, my concern is, well, if your solution then, if your blood pressure is high, if what you then do is decide, okay, I'll just take that medication to lower my blood pressure, I'm not convinced that that's really the best strategy. And where chiropractic steps in is we say, okay, well, let's talk about this. If we want, if we think our blood pressure is a little low, or a little high rather, but we want to lower it, what would we do? Well, you have the obvious things about our diet, right? Where we want to say, am I eating healthy foods? Am I keeping enough exercise? Is my weight under control, right? Uh, where chiropractic steps in, and this is what's really exciting. There have been a number of studies that have looked at chiropractic's impact on blood pressure. And there's a bunch of studies between 10 and 20 uh, you know, uh, uh, you know of, uh, millimeters of mercury right. have dropped by chiropractic. Well, how could a given a chiropractic adjustment help lower your blood pressure? Well, there's several ways. I mean, you start thinking about what controls how tight the diameter of your blood vessels. Well, it is your nerve system, your autonomic nerve system. Where is that controlled by? Well, it's controlled by your brain. What about the sensors where your body feels what your blood pressure is? Well, that's in your neck, in the carotid, uh, in the carotid arteries, your right bifurcation. So you go, huh, I can have a neck problem that I may or may not even feel, but it could be choking off the nerves that go up to my brainstem that, that is supposed to be sending nice, clear signals about what my blood pressure is, but what if this neck, that maybe I got in a car wreck 20 or 30 years ago, and you know, you've kind of gotten used to a little stiffness or something, but that's all you think it's doing. But what if it's affecting the nerves that are sending the sensory information to your brain? Now, it wouldn't hurt. It's not hurt pain. It's not hurt information. It's information about what your blood pressure mm -hmm. is. So if your brain is actually getting a signal that's got a little bit of scrambly, it's not, it's not a clear signal. The brain has to then make a default decision and say, well, it must be about here. So it will then send a signal down telling the pipes, the diameters, to be at a certain level. Mm -hmm. Well, what if we need to get a better resolution of that system? Right. And I can't tell you how many patients, as they come into chiropractic care, most of them didn't come to see me because they had high blood pressure, right? I mean, one of my employees, uh, she had been told that she had hereditary blood pressure, and she was resigned to the fact, she was 25 years old, resigned to the fact she was going to take blood pressure medicine the rest of her life like the rest of the people in her family. Well, she came, and one of the benefits of working for me is I will take care of your spine and, and give you adjustments and things. Can I have a job? I know. Isn't yeah. that, a lot of people would like to work for me. That's, that's, but, but except the ones who actually do work for me, they go, oh, boy, this is, this is working for me is not fun in some ways. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyhow, so what happened to her was... <laughs> but I Why not? I digress. I digress. <laughs> boy, I've got some things we can talk about there. Uh, uh, and I have good excuses for all of them, too, by the way. But, I'm sure you uh, do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I do. Yeah, but what happened was she was able to get off the medicine. And come to find out, it wasn't that it was hereditary. It was just uh, her nerve system needed to be fine-tuned. And once that happened, 
uh, then her blood pressure was just fine. Hmm. Now, what? Now, I wish her family lived closer to me because I wonder if there were a number of other family members that had been told that it was hereditary. Maybe they also had something wrong with the nerve system, but never realized that they should go to a chiropractor. Yeah. You see, yeah. so that's a, the kind of. So when I look at yeah. what's going on, if there's something in your life, and and I, you know, quite frankly, I'm okay if it's crazy. Like I've got chiropractic for gastrointestinal disorders. I mean. There are a lot of studies that have been done. So if you want to, you know, do the twenty dollars special, come in and say, okay, doc, this is. I want you could play a game. I want to stump the doctor. You know, that's fine. And I wouldn't mind if you say, hey, have you ever heard of this? I may not have heard of it, but so you can start going online. I subscribe to a number of research uh, sites and things like that that I can get information that you wouldn't be able to. We could look at look at something, and then let's see if you might want to explore that. See. You know, we can think about what's going wrong, and then we can talk about the mechanisms, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, in the body and say, well, in order for you to be healthy, all these communication, net, this network has to be working at full efficiency. And if it's not, you won't be as healthy as you could otherwise be. Well, is, isn't it true? I mean, don't you believe that the that with chiropractic, you're just kind of looking at a breaker box when, yeah. you, when you look at somebody's spinal column and all of that you have a breaker box yeah. and so if something is not clicked yeah. you know just like in your house when you know there's a plug or an outlet yeah. that's not i mean and I, I, so it makes sense to me it really does yeah, but but interestingly a breaker box is on or off the body is more complex okay okay so it's a it's a great analogy but it falls down just a little <laughs> bit you almost have to think about a dimmer switch on each of the breaker box you uh, know and so think about you could have yeah. a blown or you could have it dimmed yeah the problem is when when our your nerve system starts to go down in terms of its ability to function, then we lose the ability uh, to have the, the dext everything doesn't work quite as clearly, but we don't necessarily notice that we're losing. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So I want to bring uh, Barley Powell and Day up now. We're going to sing a song for you, and uh, this is called Where the Soul Never Dies. And by the way, this is the Northwest Showcase here on KPDQ. Dr. David Day, Day Chiropractic, with phone number 503. 760-7572, and we're bringing you live Southern Gospel music from a couple of different bands today, one which uh, Dr. Day is in, a couple, I believe, yeah. and so, all right, let's 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 get into it, guys. Yeah, because the, the challenge that I face is, um, <laughs> since Daniel lives so far away, and John lives far away, we don't get an opportunity to play together very much, so uh, we, we love, uh, with Glenn and Rich, we can get together each week and, and actually enjoy singing these songs together.
at the uh, Northwest Showcase, and Dr. David Day is my guest. And we have a couple of bands in studio providing some great gospel music. Need to take a break, okay. and All right. uh, let me give out uh, Dr. Day's phone number. Uh, regarding the Dr. Day, the special, give me the special again. Okay, so we're doing for $20. If you come in uh, pining for good health, yes, and uh, that'll be exciting. We're, that's going to go through the first week of August. So All right. uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. Thank All right, 503-760-7572, the number for Day Chiropractic, 503-760-7572. Guys, can you play okay, uh, yeah. going into the break? Thanks. Great job. Great job. It's kind of fun, you know, 